hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're having a fantastic day today we're going to be playing some more pokemon legends arceus but first i have to apologize for the long pause i had a bunch of gameplay ready to be edited and stuff it got corrupted and i can no longer use it so i will try my best to explain where i'm at in the game to you all right let's go So let me tell you what happened. See this weird color sky? Well, I am. Um, I fixed all the lords. I made them calm, you know, threw food at their faces. And I got to the last one and I threw food at his face and I became a hero. Everybody loved me. The next day, the sky was this color. And uh, Commando Kamado kicked me out of the village saying that I did this. And now I have to go fix it. So yeah, pretty much the, what I'm at now. So now I have to go all the way over there. Which, here we go. You? What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. It's lightning starting pouring from it. All the Pokemon in Hasu could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. I need help. I need help. Help? Ah, oh, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put our Arita in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quilling Cle Cleveland's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I can, I alone can do for you. Warden May might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find May in the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hasu, there is a place for you as well. Hmm. Okay. Not what I wanted. So oh, now I gotta go over there. Woo! Hi. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. It's, I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have all the answers. I heard from Alito what happened. You can't return to the village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid that the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. Oh, man. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you... We would regret that as much as anyone. The great wild deer took a liking to you. I want to offer you my so support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. See, I did all this to help these people, and nobody's going to help me. Hmm. What's up? Oh, little bitty animal. Oh. Okay. Oh, somebody else. I was like, now what do I do? Oh, it's him. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Weeb. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if 
I were to lose one of my favorite customers. <laughs> Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of, his, of staying abreast of all the latest news. Ah, oh, okay. It seems you're in quite the pants. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Poor Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of Hasu region where you can stash you away in secret. Hmm. I know a spot that would be perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. I don't know if I trust you. You always seem fishy to me. Aw, here we are. I know, I know. It's no play palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Alright, cool. My little hideaway home. Where am I at in the mountain? I'm actually in a new location. Oh. Shirking, you work to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of the shoes, myths, and legends. No, Mistress. Thank you. Just Kogita. And this is? Why, Dweeb is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quilled the frenzy of all the Pokemon Novos. Believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last. Thanks to you. Ah, uh, Duty? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended. These time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Mm, don't trust you either. <laughs> Ooh, cute. Nice bed. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, realm, far and farther still from us, dwells Almighty Shino. Uh, the Diamond Clans? The expanse from uh, antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we thread. From the here and now into the future, while space yaw yawns all encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? You really can't. They're in inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here's what you must do. Hashu holds three lakes of great importance. Oh, I know these lakes. At east, where a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. Huh. There you may receive the red chain. With it? Perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, as you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the world, old worlds and what they bid us do. How true they are is it mine to know. And regardless, regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for... The hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty. And you'll do it, won't you? Of course. Why not? There's no, there's no ability in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Ah. What does it say? You can see the locations of the lake. Thank you. Miss Kargita's got a lovely workbench here. 
And if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pa What about the pastures? Ah, uh, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that, indeed? Abba, what was that? Ah, uh, Abra. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, dweeb. Okay, cool. Was that the, um... The lady that always looks mad? It is Abra. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you... Ah, oh, I know. Hi, Abra. And it's got a, le a letter. A letter addressed to you, dweeb. You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Celine. It's Kylene. Kylene. Survey Corps Captain. Aww. She's so nice. I thought she was the mean one at first. Good things from the letter, then. That's right. Hmm. Now then. So, we'll to visit three lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It, sh it sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Oh. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commando's direct orders, relations will grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'd be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. What? I, I like Adamant. Obviously, you choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? That's right. Um. Sorry. Thought so. So then, the leftover leader will... Aw. Uh, leftover? I'm not someone's scraps. I will keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hushi region's three great lakes to visit. That was a mouthful. Right? And we'd better get on a move. we better get a move on. No time to race. waste. What's wrong with me? I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'll be in hot water if we were seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamant. Don't cause we more trouble. Oh, they like me. Okay. Great. So. Wait. I don't know where we're gonna go. Probably need to see the map. Oh. Hi. Yeah, let's, um... I guess right there. I think there's a lake there. Probably, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's fly. We Yeah, hopefully the next game they fix that flying. Hi. 
Hi. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Variety was born. Variety. It is protected by a Pokemon called Misprit. It was when Misprit flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Uh, that's how those old tales go, anyway. Ah. How did I know to do that? Did it say, show me the rock? Okay, nice. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Yep. Let's do this, dweeb. Mr. Kogita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Here we go. A. Enter. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. Ooh. Ah, oh, a menacing Pokemon stands before you. What's that thing, dweeb? Okay. Can I throw a at the Pokemon, Lucky? Yeah, what kind of... Stop. No. Um... Maybe that one? Okay. I guess I can't sneak up on it. Ooh. Go, Luxray. I hope it's uh, not a high level. Oh, it's only 58? I got this. Um, I guess I'm going to do that. Go! Not that good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. That one's better. Uh-oh. Can I, um, use items? Can I catch it? Probably, maybe. One? Nope. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that didn't hurt. Let's try this one. Oh, yay. I didn't know if I could catch it or not. <clears throat> okay. Nice. That w <clears throat> My voice. That's the way, Dweeb. I can tell by watching that you and the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the Lake. You have a mysterious presence. Hi. Karun. Um, probably. Okay. Hi. What do you need me to do? Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you feel to this land, what's stored in you, your heart? Surprise, bewilderment. Yeah. Okay, you like that? How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting, heartening. Oh, oh no. What did you feel when you mingled with Hosu's clan? 
We're all so different. It's a wide world. Yeah, it's a wide world. What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy? I feel bitter. Life is complicated. I accepted it. I, life is complicated, dude. Oh, they like that. Okay. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Did I do good? What's wrong with Adamant in the back? He's face palming. He's like, oh god. She answered terribly. Oh, okay. That was easy. No. That wasn't bad at all. Can I catch you? Alright. That's not bad. I can't even imagine what that must feel like. Having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, that... The world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even surprise her at... Be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself. Now with two lakes left, okay? Alright. So, let's go. Oh. Looks like the, that worked out well, Dweeb. Gotta admit, you should know plenty about his shoe, Valo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. One more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm heading. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how to we came to worship Almighty Shino in the first place. I've even got some questions about this. It's true nature. Wait the matters to ponder for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mr. Yeah. Let's go back. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Alrighty. Ah, Miss Pritt's plume. So the legend's told it's true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds. And they'll give us this thing? And it'll let us bind the world? And solve all this mess? But how? Why? Your doubt suggest a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, will the rift to widen and the very world to end? Would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, and all creation exists only because our minds are there. We perceive it. Perhaps the red chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get, I get it even less now. <laughs> Such an odd miss, my child. Teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Shino and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. Ah, uh, how nonchalant you sound. A confident of success to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Mm hmm. Okay. So, that's it for now. Alright, so that was more Pokemon Legends Arceus. I apologize again for losing all that gameplay. Oh well, though. It is what it is, and we'll make do. If you're new, please like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day or night. Bye bye.